What is up, y'all? It's your boy, K-Town Manicato One, and we back with my favorite kind of videos to make. Um, it was a whole year ago. It was a whole year ago today that you guys saw me dressed up as Naruto. Well, this year, we went as Hawk from Cobra Kai, um, and I'm talking about going to FanX, and this will be my second FanX pickups video, so uh, let's just dive right on in like we did in the last video. Um, FanX is a... Um, like fandom convention out here in salt lake city where i'm from um just you know for anime for movies tv shows video games um as if any of you guys go to conventions you know that most conventions have a lot of really dope vendors and it's just a place to go spend money so uh, let's just dive right on in first thing we got was this baruto pop figure i started collecting pop figures again i wanted to get a naruto one but i couldn't really find one but anyways i'm hyped to throw this into my collection to add it into my collection and you know like i said i'm a huge fan of the series a lot of people don't like baruto um i actually enjoyed the show i thought it was pretty good but um moving on from there this is the only game i got this year just because i got a lot of you know the retro games that i want and everything so you know my collection at least as far as now for retro because i'm not going for a complete collection i'm just going for a collection of the games that i loved and played growing up but perfect dark on the nintendo 64 saw this in the bin knew i had to knew i had to cop it so that was another pickup and then the other thing i picked up which i thought was amazing i'm a huge joker fan and i saw this knife and i figured it's the perfect perfect thing to carry for you know self-defense when you can't have your firearm on you um is this cool little joker knife um and it's got the why so serious i just think this is dope i freaking love it um and then the next thing that I got was I actually got a quite a few of these uh, mystery boxes. Uh, I think they were there last year. I just didn't give them a chance. But me and my brother went in on a couple of these. We actually ended up spending all of our money on these. Um, because they were, I mean, we thought they were sick. But they were 50 bucks each. This is a gaming surprise mystery box. Um, this is one of three that I got. So we're going to go ahead and pop it open. I already unboxed it at Comic-Con because I couldn't wait uh to like just to see what was in here but i'll go ahead and show you guys what was in here firsthand um the first thing that i got in here that i was really happy to get is this um mega man mini helmet replica um and the one that i got in this one and i'm a huge mega man fan um so i was really happy to get this is i got the uh the mega man green leaf shield um and i mean i'm really excited to to put this in you know my game room have this on display somewhere i already think i know where i'm gonna put it. i'm gonna put it somewhere with all of my retro things or i think i'm gonna put it on top of my sony trinitron um, i'm not exactly sure but i mean this thing is dope so i was really happy to get that and then the other thing i got which i don't know if i'm actually going to use it um i think i'm just gonna keep it on display because it's from halo 3 not you know master chief collection this is from the original Halo 3 on the Xbox 360, um, so I don't think I'm gonna open it, is this uh, Halo belt buckle. This is a belt buckle, I mean, this is freaking sick. It's the it's the shotgun shells for the, uh, for the shotgun you can use in Halo for the combat shotgun. Um, so I was really happy to get this, because I'm a huge Halo fan. And then another thing I got was, this was a Nintendo 64 game that I uh, played growing up was this uh, little banjo kazooie license plate always love to get retro merch for the game room so you know i had to get this and then another thing that came in here which this is uh the second to last thing was i'm a huge fan of dark souls and i got these cool dark souls pins um i was really happy to get these i was freaking ecstatic uh I was with my little brother and my girlfriend and like my girlfriend saw my face light up when I saw these Dark Souls pins. And then um, the last thing that came in this one, and like I said, me and my brother went in on these. So, I mean, he, you know, we like I picked something, he picked something. So these do come with more. This is just stuff that I get to add to my own personal collection. Um, but this was the last thing. Was this Atari sticker? I don't really think I'm going to put it anywhere. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a cool sticker, but I think I'm just gonna like have it on display somewhere um, But that's the first box that I got And then we'll go ahead and go with the, the second box 
So I know a lot of you guys think that, you know, I'm a, I'm a big PlayStation fan, which I am. But I also own an Xbox, and I also do love playing a lot of games on Xbox. I'm a big fan of both. I, uh, I don't have a preference when it comes to uh, console, which console, or even PC. Um, I play everywhere. I love to play everything. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, crack open this Xbox uh, mystery box. And these were 50 bucks a piece. Me and my brother ended up spending all of our money on these. But, I mean, how could you not? These are sick. So, the first thing that came in here was this uh, Xbox hat, which, I mean, I thought was, you know, really cool. Um, I love wearing hats. I wear hats all the time, so I could definitely wear this on a Twitch stream or something. And then it also came with an Elder Scrolls hat, so I was really happy to get this already, um, this as well. I think this is for the Elder Scrolls Online, yeah. It's not for Skyrim, it's for Elder Scrolls Online, which that's a game that I actually do play, so I could wear this when, you know, I play that game and stream it. And then this was another thing that I was really happy to get, is this uh, cool little Sonic lanyard. Um, and this is like a collectible sticker. This, I'm going to be really happy to, you know, display somewhere in my game room. And then this was something that I also kind of actually needed, were these cool little Xbox clips. Uh, so, you know, now I have something that's, uh, you know, gaming related to hang stuff up with, like, in my game room. So I'm definitely going to find a nice spot to have these um, on display. And then uh, we got this, and I was really happy to get this. This is um, just a headset stand, which that's going to make my setup look a lot nicer and neater. Right now, I just have my headset, like, rolled up um and it sits on my desk and it doesn't look that nice but with this yeah it'll it'll look it'll look great and my headset works for both the xbox and ps5 so you know this 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 is great to have um so really make my setup look a lot better and then my brother actually ended up with the uh with the same exact wallet um we each got these five nights at freddy's wallets um so i mean i thought it was really cool um and I just thought it was weird that both me and him ended up with, with, the, with the same wallet. But what I just noticed about this wallet, which is why I actually might start using it, is you can hang this on a lanyard. Um, and that's the second box. And then this will be the last box that I got, which I was really, really excited to get. And like I said, I know in my last video I had a, a, like a whole bunch of retro games. Um, the reason I didn't buy a lot this year is, like I said, I have most of the games that I want in my collection. I'm not one of those retro gamers who goes for a complete collection. I just go for games that I'm, like, actually gonna play. Um, so, the next thing, the next, uh, mystery box that I got, which I think was actually my favorite, um, which I almost didn't get it, so I'm really glad that I did, is this, uh, Naruto mystery box. Um, I love the box too. I'm gonna put this up on display somewhere just because the artwork on the box alone is freaking sick Like I'm, I'm really happy with it um, But this was my favorite one and I know this one was definitely worth more than 50 bucks um, so last year I went as Naruto and um the jacket that like I have, it's just a like a light little jacket. It's not one that you could actually wear to stay warm. Well, this one here is a legitimate. This is the jacket that Naruto wears in the show, but it's like an actual like winter jacket. Like you can wear this to stay warm. So I was really happy. And I mean, I've seen this same jacket at the mall and it's always like, like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So, I mean, I was really, really happy to get this. I mean, this is sick. Uh, next time I wear my Naruto cosplay, I think I'm just gonna wear this just because it actually it looks better even if you ask me um, It's a lot more high quality. Like I said, it's like a thick coat that you could wear to stay warm um, So this was a really nice jacket. I was really 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 happy to get this um, And then the next thing that it came with was like I said, I'm, I'm ready for winter you guys I'm ready for cold weather. I'm ready to to game in hoodies again um is this uh this naruto beanie i mean that, that's freaking sick winter's coming up and i already got a a, a dope beanie and a, a dope anime jacket to wear um these were probably my favorite items that came 
um, in this was a pair of legit, like real chopsticks. I've always wanted a pair of these. These are these are real ones. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna actually use them just because they're not. I'm I'm lying to you guys. I'm definitely gonna fucking use them. And then uh, one of the very last things that I got is this uh, ramen bowl. And I mean, I eat Topper ramen a lot, so I was really I was really psyched to to get this. So let's see which one we ended up with. What? That is dope. Look. It even comes with the little, like, coaster for it. Yeah. This. Yeah. I'm. This is. This is my favorite pickup by far. Um, and honestly, big shout out to my girlfriend. Because I spent all my money and I was like 20 bucks short. And she, uh, she loaned me $20 uh, so I could get this. So, um, yeah. Big shout out to her. And. No, it was a really, really fun day, um, and I just, uh, I'm so happy to have been able to make it and attend it again, and, um, like I said, there'll be another video of pickups from last year, and also in this video, I'll throw in a bunch of pictures and, um, videos and everything that I got, um, all the pictures and stuff that I got today. I didn't get as many pictures with cosplayers today, just because I was more focused on shopping and doing some dope pickups, um, and like uh, there was a panel that me and my girlfriend really wanted to go to that was uh, actually really, really sick. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll make sure I get more pictures with co other cosplayers. And then I get like more, um, I'm gonna get more video at some of the, the panels and everything. Me and my brother plan on going to the Cobra Kai panels. And then there's a Cobra Kai cosplay meetup. So we're really hyped and excited for that. I'm not going to be doing any shopping tomorrow because I blew all my money. But uh, until next time, y'all, y'all hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more pickups and another sick game room tour. Y'all have a good one. Peace.